Tony Doherty here for NPC News Online with eight-time figure Olympia champion Sydney Gillen. Sid, you just called it a day after all these years, after all these interviews. I've been here for most of them. Yes, you have. And you kind of kept it up your sleeve until the very last second. I did. I didn't tell, I think, only six people knew that I was retiring. I literally decided like six or seven weeks ago. Really? That I was like, all right, this, 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 I think this is going to be the last one. And as soon as I said it, my body went to hyperdrive. It was like, oh, this is the last one. We're going to... We're gonna put the pedal to the metal and give it up, give it everything we had. So you looked amazing. I mean, how how in the hell did your waist get smaller? I didn't vacuums. think it was possible. Vacuums, vacuums, really? vacuums all year long. Really? And I make sure I do a lot of breath work, a lot of meditation work, a lot of rib work, just to make sure I'm never expanding my rib cage. And a lot of people don't focus on the details, but that's how I've been able to get to eight titles. Is all the details, day okay. in, day out, every single day. I know like how meticulous are, and professional yes. you are. You've never been any different, but you bought a whole, a, a, even better package this year. Thank Was you. it a hard choice to, to retire? Yes and no. I think originally my goal was eight, and then I wanted to do ten. And then at a certain point, like six, seven weeks ago, I was like, are you okay with eight? And when I sat with that, I said, I am. I've done what I needed to do. I've added so much to this sport. I've inspired so many people and just changed the dynamics of my category. I've done everything I can. And at this point, I find that as I get older, I am very much more traditional, very much more turning towards family time, very much trying to make sure I have time with my grandparents before they pass. They're 90 years old. Making sure that I'm able to go these these different places and do all these things that I may never get to do. Yep. So with that, these last 18 years, I've lived a lot of my life, but these last eight to nine have been dedicated to winning the Olympia. Right. Every single day has been dedicated to that. I know, it really, really has. I mean. Eight straight, go out on top, it doesn't get any better, it really doesn't. But you haven't just, just been com, com, training for the Mr. Miss Olympia and competing in the Miss Olympia. You've also studied, done degrees, That's right. been super a busy. Lot. I've known you for long, you never stopped. I've never stopped. Two degrees later and multiple businesses. I now have a pro show in Arizona. I have my NPC show going on in the fourth year, the Sydney Gillen Peach Classic in Atlanta. So it allows me, retiring also allows me to be able to pour into those businesses and pour into my athletes now and give them what I've always wanted to see in the sport and what I've been able to experience in the sport. It allows me to pour back into them in a bigger way than I can as an actual athlete because you can give even more back as a promoter just to right. say, hey, this is what I enjoyed and now I'm giving it to you. But as a natural athlete, and if, I know you've always been that and said that and you've never changed and put on a whole lot of weight and yep. one time ever. Yep. You know, and I actually use you as an example in our seminars and some of the coaches be oh, they're changing the category. These girls are huge. I'm like, you seen Sid Gillen? Never. She's varied like five pounds in eight years and just keeps getting better. Person, though. You see me in person. When people yeah. people see pictures yeah. and I'm deceptive in pictures. Yeah. But when you meet me in person or if I even have a shirt on, like if I had a shirt on right now, you wouldn't see barely you would see a shape. Yeah. It would look athletic, it would look like a run track or something, but it wouldn't be like, woo until I take my clothes off and then pump up and do all the things you have to do in order to get ready for stage. But yeah, being a natural athlete has allowed me to have this long of a career, this healthily, and just have such an amazing time and get better every year. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's it's kept the category on track. It's yes. kept it straight. It's, it's totally defined it. No, it has. You're the best ever. Thank you. And you'll go down in history as the best figure champion we've ever had, but also that you've straightened that category out and set it up for life. You really, really have. And I think it's a credit to you, your family and coach. I've met your mum and dad around yes, yeah. many times around the world and doing all these interviews. And I'm just so happy not only to see you win, but to win convincingly the way you did. So what is next for you? Um, uh, because all this energy you put into your training, right? Yes. And your preparation yes. and your madness of yes. being Miss Olympia. Yes. Where are you going to channel all that? It's going to go into a lot of different things I can't talk about yet because, you know, silence is, a, is a, a personal trait, not a bodybuilding thing. So there's some things that I'm working on now that are going to be huge. Um, and But most recently, I'll be speaking at J.P. Morgan and Chase, their women's workshop for women who've impacted sports. So I'll be, that's probably one of my biggest things. And one thing I'm really excited about is just entering that financial sector where people don't even have that access. And so being able to be honored with the invitation to even speak to all the J.P. Morgan and Chase athletes about what I do right. is 
amazing to me. So I'll be doing that. That's the first thing I do once I get back from Greece. I head straight from Greece, get on the flight to New York, and I'll be there for the weekend talking to them. So unbelievable. Hitting the yeah. ground running. Finally, at the press conference on Thursday, uh -huh. right? Of course, the question comes, City, you're going to go on, you're going to go for number 10. Is this your last one? Mm -hmm. And you just brushed it off so beautifully. You had, you had maybe everyone fooled you. You just brushed it off. Like, nah, I'm just thinking about today. Mm -hmm. and, well, because the thing is, one thing I can do is hold a secret. And if I tell things. And a poker face. That, and a poker face. I need to learn how to play poker for real. But it was, I knew I wanted the moment to be special. I, I kept it from my friends as well because I wanted it to be about me. And then this is the first prep where I didn't have somebody passing away, somebody sick, something always happening, something to plan. It was the first time that it could be about me and my coach going hard in the gym and making sure that we came the best we can be. And the first prep I've ever actually been able to have for myself. And so that's why I kept it so close to the chest so that there was nobody doing extra check-ins on how you feeling, how you feeling. How? It's a regular day. So that way I was able to focus on my prep wholeheartedly and give it everything I had. But your mindset's always been incredible. I've got to know you really well through these interviews and you do have this laser focus on whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I guess for the last time, what's your message oh to all God. the women out there? Well, so this is going to be our last oh Miss Olympia interview, you know, and, oh. and, and your, your, your last message to all the, the girls out there that love you, that are inspired by you, all your fans, men and women all over the world, what would you like to say in closing? Thank y'all so much for your support these last years. I've seen the messages, I've felt the love, and I really, really appreciate everybody who has supported me throughout my journey, and those who didn't as well, because at the end of the day, y'all push me right along with everybody else. So it's been amazing. And one thing I will always say is to make sure that you live in your truth, prep how you want to prep, live how you want to live, and show up how you want to show up. That's a pretty good way to finish. Sid, you're a champion. Thank you. Thank you for all the love and respect and all the interviews over the years. You're one of a kind. Thank, Thank you. you. NPC News Online, we're out.